Hey guys, I'm going to show you a really quick trick that you can do with a retractable for training your dog. Um, I used to use a retractable a lot, but I've seen a lot of people struggling with it over the years, so I really moved to the long line. Um, however, with practice, you can get really good with these. So, Boulder is going to help me with this. Um, I'm just using a Flexi Giant XL. The idea of training with the retractable is not to just let your dog walk 26 feet in front of you. Um, I'm going to keep it at a essentially a 46 foot line, a normal uh, length leash, but doing things like stays with the retractable allows you to get further from the dog without the dog being loose or uh, on a line it's much easier to correct the dog breaking the stay so uh, I'm going to switch the camera you're going to be on me and I'm going to make sure as I walk away from the dog that I open it up first a little bit I'm going to be working with the, uh, the top lock button and as I move away from the dog stay I want to open it up an entire arm's length. Let it slide through my fingers as I come back in so it doesn't scare the dog. Good stay. Good stay. Again, just going to make sure it's touching the ground so the dog's not loose. Or excuse me, so it's not pulling the dog. And as I walk away, so I'm just gonna it can move freely now. Hold it, lock it. Good stay. Good stay. Stay. Show you one more trick. You need to be hands free. You gotta pick up poop. You gotta tie your shoe. Never do this. Your dog bolts, pulls that out. This will fly out from between your legs. Either hit the dog and scare them or hit the ground and scare them. They're gonna take off. This is gonna chase them. They're not going to be able to get away. So at that at that point, the best you can hope for is that the line gets stuck under a car tire. But even that, the dog's going to come to an abrupt stop, an abrupt stop on a pinch collar. Not good. Same thing. You don't want to stand on it. So all you're going to do, unlock it, put it over your shoulder, your right shoulder under your left armpit make sure you do that it's going to take the box up under the line and drop it in the hole now if i just step back on one foot put my weight back if the dog takes off they're not going to they're not getting anywhere because they're attached to me make sure when you do this When you go behind your back and over your shoulder, that you're not on top of this arm. Because if you put it through that hole and the dog takes off, you're going to choke yourself. So I know that seems like common sense. You would be surprised. And I've seen a lot of smart people do that. If this is new, uh, new equipment to you. Believe me, you don't have to be void of intelligence to make that mistake. So, just something to be cautious of. When I want the dog to come to me, just going to... The line's tight. Just going to unlock it and hold it between my fingers. Buller, here! Dog comes in. If the dog's coming in fairly quick, he should move right with the, uh, with the leash and I can just let him come in.
Hope this helps everyone.